Hello everyone, my name is Hope from Hope's Kitchen. You're all welcome to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time to be here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more videos coming. Today I'm showing you how I made my daddy's. So in a bowl, I added in 4 cups of flour. One tablespoon of lemon zest, three tablespoons of butter, fifteen tablespoons of sugar. But the sugar you can add depending on how sweet you want your daddy's to be. Then I added in one cup of warm milk. You can replace it with warm water as well. Then after <coughs> doing that, I started mixing them all together in the bowl for a while before transferring it to my working table. I had forgotten to add in my vanilla, that's why I added in the vanilla in the process of me kneading on the working table. So I knit the dough for about 30 minutes just to keep it stretching, to make it stretch, have that good stretch stretching length then after that after I was done knitting the da the da was okay I put it in another clean bowl then smeared it with some oil and I covered it for about 10 minutes just to let it rest before we start rolling so when the 10 minutes were done I took the da from the bowl and put it on my working table and started rolling Landa, you do not, you can roll it according to the thickness you need, but do not make it too thick or too thin. Let it be on medium size, and after rolling, cut it into. Strips. Then when you're done with the strips, you can cut it, you can cut the what, the dye in two cubes, whatever size you want. Some people have small, medium, and big. Me, I did the medium size since this was for a student. So on finishing to cut it in two cubes, I heat my oil. Before the oil was ready hot, I, I added in the, I added in the, the dye is the cut cubes into the hot oil it was not hot though it was just medium then after five minutes i started turning the daddies just to make sure they're evenly cooked and they have the same brown color though for better results always let your daddies not to go brown as you see leave them to remain pale because when they cool they tend to go to that brown color on their own and also when you're cooking cook on low heat just for the crunchiness i mean medium heat not low heat let it be on medium heat in order to get that crunchiness of daddies that is how my method of how i make my daddies there's nothing unique about it so I had to keep frying over and over again till they were all done. As you can see, the results. So we have come to the end of our video. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're a newcomer. And remember to hit on the notification bell for the more coming videos. Thank you.